guys welcome back to the 11th part of call java tutorial in the previous part we uh, we already see that what happens when there is a default constructor is present in both child class and parent class in that case if we create an object of the child class it will invoke first the parent constructor then only it will invoke the default constructor of the parent child uh, now I'm going to explain what is the use of a super keyword in Java and uh, what happens if there is a default constructor is pres a parameterized constructor is present in both parent and child class so here I just create a parameterized constructor in child class child class the parameter is just a string string value I just print a message here system dot out dot print to ln from from child parameterized constructor and value is and value get is plus value ok now I am going to do the same thing in the parent also now I am going to create a parameterized constructor in parent class also parent class and here is the from parent parameterized constructor parent parameterized constructor and value get is value ok guys now you can see in both of these classes there is both parameterized constructor and also a default constructor is present in both of these classes now here there is only our public class is present here and in that public class we just create a default constructor we just create an object that will invoke the default constructor only now I am going to create another object now I am going to pass an argument through this constructor so here I am passing a value called Prabish. I just pass a string value from this object creation that means it will invoke the default constructor of the it will invoke the default constructor of the uh, it will invoke not the default constructor it will invoke the parameterized constructor of parent and child now in the case of a default constructor or uh, we can see that it will invoke the first the parent constructor then it will then only it will invoke the child constructor uh, child class uh, default constructor but here the thing is some different is quite different in this case there is the uh, parameterized constructor is constructor of parent is not invoked by the creation of this object it will only invoke the default constructor of uh, parent in this case when we create an object of uh, object that is uh, that will pass an argument in that case it will invoke the default constructor of parent instead of parameterized constructor then only then it will invoke the uh, parameterized constructor of child so I just save the program again and now I am going to compile the program java c super demo java 
there is no error now I am going to run the program Java super demo you can see here first the default constructor of parent is invoke and then only the parameterized constructor of child invoke and the value passed is prebish so from this program you can see that the parameterized constructor of parent is away from execution of the program so when we create an object of object that will pass an argument it will invoke first the parent default constructor then only it will invoke the child parameterized constructor that means the parent default parent parameterized constructor is escape from execution so in that case in this situation we use the super keyword a super keyword is nothing but it's a keyword used to invoke a parent constructor which will represent a parent constructor in that case we can see the parameterized constructor of parent is escape from execution of the program so we have to use the super keyword to uh, make this parameterized constructor of parent executable so we have to create a super keyword in the child constructor here is the child constructor so here I am going to create the super keyword super I just pass the value passed from the object creation as an argument here again I save the program now I am going to compile it program is successfully compiled now you can see that instead of executing the default constructor of the parent it will first invoke the parameterized constructor of parent that all, then only it will invoke the parameterized constructor of child this is the uh, use of super keyword a super keyword is used for uh, calling the parent constructor so it will represent super value that will it will represent the uh, constructor of parent that contain an argument so this constructor is invoked in this case that means there is the super keyword is present here uh, also there is one rule behind super keyword if you are using a super keyword inside the child constructor it must be the first statement in that constructor otherwise it will cause an error if uh, I just put the super keyword as a second statement in this constructor you can see an error is occur here now I am just compile the program again you can see that an error is occur called to super must be the first statement in constructor that is a rule you can always remember you will always keep in mind that a sup if you are using a super keyword uh, it will it it will be the first statement it must be the first statement in the child constructor that is the rule behind super keyword so thank you for watching see you in the next part of the tutorial guys subscribe my channel for further video further uh, java video tutorial updates thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial